previous video, we created a basic HTML structure for our WordPress theme. Now, let's fill out the header and footer templates. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and open your header and footer in your text editor. We'll be spending most of this video focusing on the header. The footer is really easy and shouldn't take long at all. So in the header, the first thing on the page should always be the doc type. In this case, we're using the HTML5 doc type. Next comes the HTML tag. Here's where the PHP madness begins. Inside of this tag, we want to print a language attribute. So we're going to go ahead and put in a space, and then we're going to open PHP tags inside of our HTML tag. And we're going to type out the function language attributes and end that with a semicolon. And I won't go too in depth here because we do need to move on, but basically this just helps the browser parse our content better. Next, we want to make sure that our title tag displays the name of our blog and also displays the name of the current post that we're looking at. So first, let's display the name of our blog. So inside of our title tag here, we're going to go ahead and again, open up PHP tags, and we want to use the function blog info with the argument name as a string. And when we switch over to the browser and refresh, if everything went smoothly, we should now see the title of our blog being displayed wherever your browser displays the contents of the title tag. And in Google Chrome, that's in the tab right here. So we're going to switch back over to our text editor. And I should explain this function a little bit more. Blog info is a special WordPress function that contains information about your blog just as the name of the function implies. Here, we're getting the title of our blog, but we'll be using this function again to extract other blog details. In addition to the name of the blog, it would also be nice to include the title of the post that we're currently viewing. We won't be able to test this out right now, but once we get some posts and dummy data into our site, we'll see this in action. So right before the name of your blog, Go ahead and put a space and open up PHP tags again. And we want to use the function WP underscore title. And we want to put in a pipe there in quotes. We want to put in the argument true. And finally, we want to put in the argument right as a string. So this WP title function is another built-in WordPress function that takes three arguments. The first argument is the string that separates the post title from other text. The next argument is set to true so that the title of the post echoes and the right argument at the end says which side of the separator, which is at the beginning, the title should appear. So let's go ahead and move on. It would be a good idea to modify our style sheet link tag so that WordPress can worry about where to pull the style sheet from. So let's go ahead and delete what we have inside of the href for our style sheet. And inside of here, we're going to again open up PHP tags and we're going to use the blog info function and we want to put a string in there with the style sheet URL, just like that. And in addition, we should also include a pingback URL. So right after that, we're going to put in another link tag. And it will be rel pingback. And for the href, we're going to open up PHP tags. And once again, we're going to use blog info. And for our argument, we're going to say pingback URL. And we need to go ahead and close this tag just like that. And finally, we need to include some PHP just before the head tag closes. So just before the head tag, go ahead and open up some PHP tags. And just follow along here, I'll explain this in just a second. So we're going to say if, 
and then in parentheses is singular as a function and get option thread underscore comments then wp and q script and then finally for the argument here we'll say comment reply and then just after this if statement we're going to use the function wp head the first part will include javascript that works with the comment form and allows for threaded comments this will be important later and then finally the wp head function should always be included just before you close your head tag this is used as a hook for many plugins so that they can include things in the document head now that we've gotten through all that the rest of this should be pretty easy inside of the header we're going to use the blog info function once again in the h1 tag we want the title of our blog and in the h2 tag we want the description for our blog which is actually what gets filled out in the tagline field of the general settings so inside of our h1 here we're going to open up php tags and we're going to use the blog info function and for our argument we're going to say title and then inside of the h2 we're going to use the blog info function again and for the argument you want to put description and finally we're going to use a wordpress template tag to add some navigation to the top of our page so right after our header here i'm going to go ahead and open up php tags and i'm going to say wp nav menu and there are actually many arguments you can pass to wp nav menu which you can check out in the documentation but we don't need for now so when we switch back to the browser and refresh there we have it it's a very simple header and obviously this will have some css put on top of it later but you can make your header as complex or simple as you'd like now let's go ahead and fill out our footer really quick so we'll switch over to our footer here and generally you just put site credits and any other information here that's not critical to your average site visitor so feel free to fill this in however you'd like for mine i'm just going to go ahead and write that this theme was created by me so i'll go ahead and say wordpress theme by nick pettit and one thing you always do need to include in your footer file is the function wp footer so just before your closing body tag open up some php tags and type wp footer this is similar to the wp head function that allows various plugins to include javascript that should wrap things up for our header and footer templates in the next video we'll learn how to display content using the loop